On the line from the legendary hip hop group Killer Army, ladies and gentlemen, Don Pacino. You can't persuade this brigade, Killer Army Renegade on this crusade. You did a bid at Rikers Island? Yeah, I ended up shooting somebody back in the days, you know, I did my time for that, you know. Well, actually, while I was on a run for that, I went to Ohio. That's where I laid up. And um, we, we recorded our first single, uh, Camouflage Ninjas. Wait, so you, were, the, you recorded uh, that song while you were on the run? I was on the run, yeah. Oh, no shit. It's right there, you know. The RZA, the Jizz, and ODB. If I could be a fly on the wall back then. I just remember ODB for, for always having a, a 40 ounce of old English in his hand, drinking and singing. Talk to me about going on tour with Wu-Tang. What are your thoughts on Takashi 6 9 The way this, this whole thing is set up, man, it's, such, it's so much fake weak shit out here right now that he probably can actually come back and, and act gangster again and people mm -hmm. probably still get it up. Oh. Yeah, t talk to me about going on tour with Wu Tang, and and that that had to be a crazy si <laughs> situation. Oh man, yeah, we you know it was crazy. It's crazy when you start, you know, you don't never know the music's gonna get as big as it gets sometimes, man. Nobody really knows how it's gonna be received, especially you know you think you're doing your thing, and you know you're only seeing local, but when you go on tour and you see like people in different states, you're like in. You know, North Carolina, South Carolina, you go to New Orleans, you go to Chicago, and you see people, like, saying you're singing along with your songs and stuff like that at the shows and the love, man. It's, like, it's crazy. Mm. You know, we had, you know, it's good times, man. Good times, you know? Running yeah. through the cities, the malls, putting stickers, and everything up everywhere we go, you know? Letting, 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 that, letting that truth out. Nice. Now, what, um, what part of the country or what part of the world showed Wu-Tang the most love, obviously, besides the East Coast. Oh, uh, a lot. I mean, I, I heard UK. Man. I heard UK was like just like. Oh, you're talking about the, uh, 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 you know, as far as the world goes, international. Well, I mean, yeah. I, between me and you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't start doing my international stuff to after I started doing my own independent stuff. Okay. So I never, yeah, I, did, I, I, I was still on paper and stuff during that early time. I couldn't even get my, you know, I couldn't even go out, you know, yeah. at that time. Okay. Um. But yeah, but, but from what I seen when I went out afterwards, uh, Brazil is a lot of is a lot of love in Brazil. That's what, you know, it's crazy out there as far as Colombia, a lot of love. Europe has got a lot of love too, you know. But I, I you know, Europe too. But I didn't see me personally on my my voyages. I can only speak for myself. I seen a lot of love in in, in uh, South America, man. Like Colombia and Brazil, it is like crazy. Oh, okay. Africa too. I went. I did in Angola. Africa, oh no shit! Crazy. What? Nice. Yeah. Do you ever, excuse me, uh, do you ever keep in touch with Killa Sin, who's currently doing a long bit yeah, in jail? Yeah, I haven't, uh, this bit, he, you know, Killa been in and out. This bit, I haven't really been in touch with him. Uh, I, I do I do keep up to what's going on with him, and I did go to his sentencing. I was actually the only, me and his wife was the only one of his sentences. I actually put the song on, I did a song, I did a song on my last album, with Poetry, uh, too, with uh, Braun Nazareth's uh, production. I did a song called Kite the Killer. So that was my letter to him, being I haven't been so active writing a letter, you know, okay. this this big, big one. But I was there as his sentence, and like I said, it's just me and his wife. I'm talking about nobody else. Damn, no, no fan. That's uh, cold. When I, when he got he got sentenced. Nobody was there but me and his wife. Wow, Facts. dude, that's crazy. Man. Oh, you know, out of all the thousands, you know, yeah, out of all the thousands and hundreds of thousands of people you have around you, and at the end of the day, it's it's just two people by your side when you're about to do a long ass bid. You know, uh. it's, uh, you know, it's real, you know, I'm not to say anyone got no love, you know, he didn't have love, it's just that day, which, which I would think is a big day when, you, when you're going away, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would think it would have been a little different, but I mean, we were there, we held it down, man, and it, it was real, and you know, I wrote a song about it, man. That's you know, what's up. That shit hurt me. Did, that shit, like, honestly hurt me, bro. Yeah, I could, I could only imagine, man. I have people doing the same right now, and it's, it's a bad situation, especially when they're, when they're good people, you know, and you know them for the yeah, real. Yeah, nah, he's a good brother, man. Real good brother, man. Just the streets got the best of him, and unfortunate situations, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, 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 that street gravitation, man. You know, got the best of him, but yeah, definitely got the biggest heart. Definitely great talent, uh, you know, it, genius on the mic, you know what I mean? And it's just yeah, it's unfortunate, man. But any, shout out to Killer Love, you miss you, bro. You know, any truth to him breaking Nas's jaw? Uh, not Nas, but Mace's jaw. Uh, honestly, man, I heard about it. I never, we never even talked about it. We, there was so many joys being broke at the time. Honestly, <laughs> I, don't a, I don't think it was a big, you know, like I heard it too. I heard it like you heard it, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's like I never, 
it wasn't uh, like something that's like maybe it would have been talked about if it was something that was uncommon going on, you know, but a lot of people came across us the wrong way and, and, and ended up hurt. So yeah. I don't, it was really, yeah, like I said, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's a fact or not, but of, of you know, how we got around, somebody must have witnessed it. Yeah. How far. Better than that, that better than that than pulling out a gun is all I'm saying. So that I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I um, agree. I agree. You've been in the in the studio with tons of people. In your opinion, who is the illest MC you've ever seen spit behind a mic? Kill a sand, man. Kill a sand. I had a feeling.